Hello and welcome to Keep Coding. Uh, in this video, we're going to see how to test a React component that is making an API call to the external server. So here I have created a new React application. Uh, I don't have any new dependencies, uh, I have, but I've changed some codes. Uh, only three files I have changed. One is the app. I have replaced it with the Pokemon list component and then uh, the default test I have cleared it up and then um, in Pokemon list is a component uh, that is what we're going to see now. So this component is going to access this API and fetch a list of Pokemons and then render it in a table and if the API call fails it is going to show unable to fetch the data. Okay, so we have to test this component. Um, so we have two possible cases here. Either it will show some data, otherwise it will show unable to fetch data. So we have to test both these cases. Before that, uh, let me run this application. Actually, it is running. Um, and so this is the output. So this is a table with all the values uh, that are coming from the uh, API. So I'm just printing the name of the Pokemons. Okay. So now we need to add a test for this component. I'm going to add a new file named Pokemon list.test.js. Okay. So I haven't installed any other package for testing other than the default ones. The default one is just along with the React testing library for uh, React related testing. Okay. So now describe. So I need to describe the test. So Pokemon list component and then within it I have to write the test okay and since we are dealing with the API it is going to be an asynchronous test uh, in that case we have to pass an async function to the test so it should render Pokemon names when API response now within here we need to render the component and for that we need to import render from react testing library and within this pokemon list component has to be rendered we have to give the jsx okay so it, it doesn't have any properties so it is fine so i have an extension for just install so whenever i save the test automatically this will run and it will show me whether it is passing or not. Now, I'm not making any assertions here, but still, since this is not throwing any error, it shows the test has passed, uh, we'll, we'll add the assertions. Okay, now to assert it, we have a wait. So wait for is a function from React testing library. So since we need to wait for the API to respond, so here we have to give the closure and here screen is an object from react testing library again. So this will have the rendered values. Okay. Uh, get by text. Not get all by text, but uh, get by text okay so i can give a text here and then if it succeeds then it will have passed um, test otherwise it will have failed test so it is always a good practice to make your test fail first so now i'm gonna give a pokemon name that doesn't exist at all okay pokedex and then i save it now the test is running So if you see, it is failing because it is not able to find a Pokemon name that uh, with with this. Okay, so now let's go back and give Bulbasaur as the Pokemon name, and now let's see whether the test pass. Now the test is passing, but what we are doing is that the API call is being hit from the 
um, from a test directly every time. So this is not the way to test AP calls because we don't want to hit the external server. Say if the network is not working, then obviously it will fail. And also will not be able to test the failing test cases because now I have to test where the API request is failing. I need, I'm showing a text, right? I need to test that as well. So in this case, we have to mark this fetch API call. Uh, but marking uh, a fetch API call directly is not a good idea. So you, you can mark the global dot fetch, but um, I don't want to do that. I, I want to keep all the API calls outside uh, this component so that if you are marking the global fetch, then it will affect the other tests as well, which are depending on fetch. So what I'm going to do is that this fetch call. So what this fetch call is doing, it is making a call to this Pokemon and then it is checking if the status is 200. If so, it uh, returns the data. Otherwise, it throws an error. Okay. So now this part, I'm going to move it to an external file. I'm creating a file named api.js. And then here I'm having a function named get Pokemon from API. Okay. It doesn't take any parameters and it returns the fetch. Okay. I'm exporting this. Now this function is returning a promise. So this promise will be having the response value of the data. Otherwise, it will be throwing an error. Okay. Now, if I go here, then I just change the call here uh, directly from fetch to this. Okay. Now, does this affect the code in any way? Uh, does this affect the functionality in any way? No, no it is running as usual, okay. Now the test is also running because we are not marking anything there. So now we are gonna mark the test. So now we have to mark that external API. This module I want to mark and then I'm gonna say that import yep star as api from api so i'm importing now i have to mark the api call so what i have to do so i have to say that whenever you are calling get pokemon from api then this value has to be returned from this function so that is a mark okay so i i will be having a predefined value that will be sent every time when that function is being called so to do that what i have to do is that api dot it is having this function and after this I have to do mock dot mock resolved value which means uh, this function is supposed to return a promise right so in that case I have to do this mock resolved value so that it will return a promise and the a response from the API so this API is returning an object and the object is having results and the results is an array where Pokemon exist. Okay. So now I'm saying Pokedex as a Pokemon name. Okay. This, this you can confirm if you see the component here. So after fetching from the data, I'm taking results, which is an array and setting it to Pokemon's. Okay, and now here in the test, I'm returning a mocked value. So what I would expect here, if the API is returning Pokedex, then what should be visible in the screen? Pokedex should be visible. Now let's see if the test passes. Yeah, now everything is working fine because I'm returning Pokedex from the API and 
the screen is having Pokedex. So if I if I don't have the X there, then it will fail. Okay, simple as that. So now uh, whenever you do a mock, uh, now whenever you do mocking, what you have to do is that before you each, you have to clear all the mocks. Okay, so you are setting up mocks in every test, right? We don't want this mock uh, to go to the next test. The next test will be having a different uh, mock for its own. So in that case, before each test, we need to clear all the mocks. That's why we need to have this. Because I'm now going to have another test. Okay, now it should render error message. When API fails, okay. Now, how to make the API fail? So, just like, um, just we'll just add the same test there. And now, what we are expecting here is that unable to fetch data, because if you see the component, I'm setting unable to fetch data in the case of error. So I am expecting to see the text. But to make the API fail, I have to give mock rejected value. And I don't have to give any value because I'm not, I'm not actually checking for any status or anything. Okay. So now if you see, it is having unable to fetch data. Now, this is one of the reason um, I'm, I'm doing the check within this, okay? So I'm, I'm not worried about the status at all. If it is throwing an error from here, then it will be a rejected value, okay? Uh, if it is returning the data, then it will be a positive value, okay? So uh, another advantage of having functions like this is that if you want, you can easily replace this with Axios. Now that's it. Let me run the test manually here and show you that the tests are passing. Okay, the tests pass, but then we we have. Um, warnings like uh, the key has to be added for example here i need to have key Pokemon dot name and then tr cannot uh, appear under table directly so i'm adding t body Let's run the test again. Yeah, all the tests passed. Okay, so that's it. Um, so you just have to refactor your code and take all the APIs outside and keep it separate so that it's easy to test. Uh, and then you just have to mock those functions with whatever value you want to pass. Okay. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel. I'll post more videos related to React and testing. Thank you.